Hi everyone, it's Andrea here and I've got a few more colouring supplies and things to show you that I've got recently. The first thing I'm going to show you is I bought some A4 white cardstock from the Hobby Craft in the UK. And it's 100 sheets and it was uh, £4 for the 100 sheets. Um, it's really thick cardstock. Um, I'll show you here. It's uh, basically very good for printing out free artwork that some of the uh, artists share like Selena Fennec and Molly Harrison and Bennett Klein so I bought that so I could do that. I also bought a Derwent roll pouch because I don't have all the Colorsoft pencils at the moment so when I do an order at Amazon, from Amazon at the end of the month I'm going to order some of the colors I haven't got and I can keep them in the Derwent pouch. So, looking forward to that. I also bought um, the Derwent 12 metallic pencils. I know there's light shining on it, it's just the way that the um, light is in here at the moment. Um, so it's the uh, 12 metallic pencils and they're also, apparently they're water soluble so you can use them as um, paint as well. So we'll have a look at those properly in a moment. I wanted to show you the uh, Selena Fennec Mermaids that I finished, which I really loved, if I can find it, which was Sea of Roses. So I did this one and that was using the um, Faber-Castell Classics and the Derwent Colour Soft. So I really enjoyed this one, it took me just over a week. So I really, really enjoyed that one and I'm looking forward to doing more of these because it's a lovely book. Talking of books, I got another five books in the last week or so. The first one, Enchanting Nature, uh, was from a place called Lidl's, um, which is a very cheap supermarket in the UK. And basically it just has some very basic patterns in it. It's very thin paper, but obviously you can use markers if you put a pe another piece of paper under. But I thought we'll use that one to test some of the mediums. So we'll do a little test of the metallics in a bit. I'll just show you the rest. Uh, the rest were given to me as gifts for Easter because I requested them instead of chocolate because I eat too much. The first one is a happiness and contentment one. If you've seen this channel before, you know I already have two of these um, flipped. Oh, there's a fibre in there. What? Oh, I had that. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, so various different pictures. Again, this was from Lidl's. Um, I've got two in the series already. And these are really nice little pictures. They don't take too long. They're not too complicated. So... That'll be fun to use. And then I got four from my partner, Paul, for Easter. And these ones are by a Welsh artist named of Gwen Davis, who Paul went to school with. And so she's got the, the Green Ladies Zen Mandala colouring book. So this is all mandalas. And she's got lots of different ones of those. And then we've got the Green Ladies Zen Mandala Colouring Book Volume 2. So again, it's more mandalas. And these ones have got names like Reflective Mandala, Expanding Mandala, Thinking Mandala, and so on. I think there's about 10 or 15 pages in each one. They're not over expensive. They're about £4 each, and they're spiral bound. The next one is the Green Ladies Zen Henna Colouring Book. And this is, these again have really nice titles. There's a cat, headed hair, and there's cat moon. I like that one. And then at the back, we've got draw your dreams. So you've got somebody dreaming and you can put whatever you want in there. That's the only page in these four books where you actually have to draw anything. So it's henna flowers. The henna tree, I really love the henna tree. And the fourth one that he got me was is the Green Ladies Cottage Garden colouring book. So we've got a hair, we've got a peace sign in flowers, which I think is absolutely stunning. Uh, a, a songbird, um, a Janice the Gardener, and so on. So these are all really, really reasonably priced, around four pounds. I think I've got the fourth twelve pounds from Gwen's website. I will leave a link down below to Gwen's website. It is literally just www.gwendavis.com. Um, and she does a variety of things, not just colouring books. She also does jewellery and uh, greetings cards and so on. And they're really, really nice. So. Um, then I did want to show you one of my oldest colouring books, which I didn't actually show you in my original haul. 
and this is a Marilyn colouring book because as you all know I'm a big Marilyn Monroe fan. So this is the Marilyn Monroe Paper Doll Colour Book by Ralph Hodgson. It's got a copyright date of 1975, but there's no publication, so I think it's self-printed. And basically, it just gives you costumes from her films. Now, because this is so old, I'm not actually going to colour in this book, but I am going to scan and print them up on that cardstock that I used, I mentioned before, and then I can colour them, which will be nice. So let's have a look at these Derwent 12 metallic pencils. So they come in the tin and they go everywhere because they do. So they're very nice. So these are hexagonal rather than the round ones, like the colour soft ones are round. So this is red 87. So I'm just going to pick a page, let's move that up, right? In this uh, nature book. Now I am left handed, so you have to bear with me. So let's just. Uh, so what we'll do is we've got a little fishy here, some fishies and stuff. So we'll just uh, uh, take um, a few of them and, and have a look. So this is bronze. So let's just see how it lays down. So it's, oh, it goes down very now. I'm not putting very much pressure on. And that looks quite nice. So I guess you can use these as um, paints, but I don't have a paintbrush, so. I don't know what they'll look like with the paint on it. But that's a bronze. I'm not very good at this colouring because being left handed, I find it really awkward to do it on camera. I'm going to try it though because, well, why not? We love colouring. So that's the bronze, that's not too bad. And if we just put it in thicker again, that's a quite a nice colour. Thank you. Yeah. So let's have a look at the red one. Can't get any of them outlined, let's have a look. The red one here, so let's have a quick look at this one. So that one lays down. Oh, that's nice. It's quite a nice uh, purpley red. I mean, they, they're not very brilliantly sharpened, but they go on very nicely. They would sharpen them, though, I think, before I use them properly. Um, what else have we got? We've got oh, there's a lovely blue here. So we're just going to colour in this little gap here in blue to see what it looks like. Just zoom it down a bit. Let's go down. So this bit, that's it. Oh, that's nice. I'm not putting very much pressure on that at all. Oh, I like that. So yeah, like all Derwent products, they're very good quality. They layer on very nicely. Um, as you see, the more you pressure you put on, the better. So let's have a look. One of the colours that we've got that are simple. We've got a gold and we've got an antique gold. So we'll just put... This one is the antique gold. You can't see that, so let me just put it out again. That's it. On here. The normal gold is I don't like there's much difference really. Oh there it is. Thank you. They look alright. Oops, I'm throwing them all over the floor. Hang on a second. these in Hobbycraft and they were on offer, they were just over £11, normally they're around 15 so this is another red, so, like I said we're just using this colouring book to see what the colours are like, and I will do um, a page of swatches for this so I know which ones look like which eventually. 
color is, what's this? This is sort of like a yellowy green. It says yellow. I don't know if it'll focus on that. No, it doesn't want to. There we are, yellow. So let's have a look. Uh, can we see? Yes, you can see that one. Oh, no, I like that yellow. Sort of almost a yellowy green colour. And then this is a purple, allegedly purple. Oh yeah, it's purple. That's an, oh, I like that. That's a lovely colour. Never thought I'd get so excited about the colours of coloured pencils, but I do. Yeah, they're very nice. So they lay down really quite nicely. And then you've got a silver and a what's this one? A pewter. So pewters are very grey. Like that. And then we've got the silver. I'm going to pop the silver in here. That's actually quite a nice silver, actually. Bronze they've done. What's this one next to the bronze? Copper. Can we see that one? Yeah. Can you see? I'm not feeling very tidy because I'm just wanting to see how they lay down. They lay down really nicely. Um, and this. And then there is a green one. So we'll just. That's a very nice green as well. So that's the metallics. They do look really nice. I will have to have a look and try and get a um, uh, some a water brush and try it out as a watercolour. Uh, but I think with the watercolour, <coughs> when you use it as a watercolour, it, it works um, better if you use a um, black paper. So. That is how the cards come on. So, I hope you've enjoyed this little demonstration and little haul. And I will see you again very, very soon with another video. So, thanks then. Bye-bye now.